the news, good evening. The Public Health Commissioner, Dr. Jude Gideon, has uh, confirmed a first case of community transmission of the COVID-19 virus and that they expect uh, to record more positive cases in the coming days. Uh, Dr. Gideon said uh, this during uh, this morning's press conference. Uh, he said that as of today, there are 44 active cases of COVID-19 in the country. This uh, includes 24 cases recorded between yesterday and uh, today amongst which 22 are Seychellois nationals. 20 of them are related to one specific case, a cluster case, and an additional two on Silhouette related to another case. There are also two foreign citizens who have tested positive this morning. We admitted somebody, a Seychellois in ICU, in critical condition um, over the weekend. And since then, we have uh, detected 21, there was an, a, a very close contact uh, who came with him to the hospital, she was positive. And last night we detected 20 more. The total of number of Seychelles who are positive right now are 22. Uh, several of them have symptoms, uh, but there's only one who's critical. Some has, have mild to moderate symptoms and others are symptomatic. I forgot to mention earlier, among uh, these 22, there are children too. There are children over three years and 12. They are being isolated in different places. Those who have symptomatic and require uh, treatment and intervention will be at the family hospital isolation center. Those that are, have mild symptom will be at the Coast Guard facility. And we also have the use of the ELT suite facility to admit others who are asymptomatic or even have mild symptoms, they monitored. And we will follow the guidelines. Uh, if you remain asymptomatic, you will be discharged after 10 days. If you have symptoms, it will be after at least 14 days. The healthcare agency has said that no visitors will be allowed at the Northeast Point premises, which uh, include the Northeast Point Hospital, the home for the elderly, the mental home, and the hospice. The healthcare agency has said in a press release that members and uh, the public, uh, that family members, sorry, and the public should telephone the respective premises for any inquiries. As a result of new restrictions imposed by the health authorities, the Roman Catholic Church has announced that it is uh, to record its religious uh, end of year and New Year services. Uh, to be broadcast uh, later, a church spokesman has called on the faithful to stay home and follow the masses on uh, television. The restrictions do not apply to funeral services. The church says that mass will be broadcast on both the SBC and Telecicil as well as on the radio. Meanwhile, the Anglican Diocese has said its mass uh, on New Year's Day will be live on its uh, Facebook page. CPEC has said that the price of fuel has gone up this week due to the rate of exchange, which is continually rising. CPEC's general manager for commercial, Sarah Rome, has said that the increase is also due to the rise in cargo fees overseas. Well, at the pumps has gone up uh, above 20 rupees. It is now 20 rupees 40 per litre. And the main reason for this hike in the price is the rate of exchange. And we are currently paying um, 21 rupees 65 per dollar, which means that this had an effect of 3 rupees 12 cents on our price. If we were using the same cargo with uh, the exchange rate pre-COVID, which is 14.23, our price at the pumps today would have been 17.28. So therefore, it is just because of the rate of exchange that has pushed the price above. Yes, it is true that the price of the cargo has gone up, but the principal factor is that is that of the exchange rate, and it is because CPEC has to go to the local banks to purchase the extra dollars so that we are able to buy it from our supplier. We cannot buy it in rupees, we have to buy it in dollars, and if the dollar has gone up, this means that the price would automatically go up. 
The Seychelles Apiculture Association now has its own office at uh, Unionville next to the Veterinary Center. The le Department of Agriculture handed over the installation to the Beekeepers Association. The agreement was signed by the association's chairman, Arthur Toulet-Tilatier, and Mark Nakin, the CEO of the National Biosecurity Agency. Also present were the Minister of Agriculture, Environment and Climate Change, Flavien Joubert, officials from his ministry, as well as representatives of the Seychelles Agricultural Agency and members of the Beekeepers Association. Mr. Touletilatsi said that the office will help the association to better coordinate its work, and Mr. Naiken said the agency is taking all necessary measures to prevent the arrival in Seychelles of the Varroa mite that attacks bees. This mite is spreading rapidly in other parts of the world, including uh, in some islands uh, in the Indian Ocean. And with this, uh, we end uh, this news uh, summary. Thank you for watching. And please follow the health guidelines. Take care of yourselves and stay safe.